There were shock waves across the country recently when a 26-year-old girl working in a reputed multinational in Pune died. And the reason for her death was, of course, stress at work. And that has thrown up a huge debate about work stress and how seriously should we take our work. But more importantly, isn't there any responsibility which needs to be fixed on the companies and firms as well so that they don't pressurize their employees to meet deadlines immediately and there's no kind of a work pressure on them. Well, Rahul Gandhi has now stepped in because Rahul Gandhi spoke to the parents of Anna Sebastian in Kochi and that phone call happened over WhatsApp and it was facilitated by the All India Professional Congresses Praveen Chakraborty. It was a brief conversation, that is what we have been told by her sources and Rahul Gandhi also reassured them that he does appreciate the fact that they were showing immense amount of courage but at the same time he reassured them that all steps would be taken to put pressure on the government to ensure that such cases do not take place again. Now the parents of the girl had complained that no one from the company had even bothered to touch up on them and none of them turned up at the funeral as well. In fact, what we are knowing is that as far as the professional congress is concerned, they've issued a statement and Rahul Gandhi has said that as a LOP or the leader of the opposition, especially when the parliament session begins, he is going to reach out to a labor ministry, to the government, so that they come out with certain changes in the labor laws to ensure that this kind of work pressure does not take place on any of the employees. But apart from that, the professional congress is also going to come out with a kind of a helpline to help all those people who work in these big companies or otherwise so as they can share their problems in case they are facing any kind of a work pressure. Well, why did Rahul Gandhi do this? Because this is something which touches upon the corporates, this touches upon employees and the young people and he clearly wants to project himself as someone who cares for the concerns of the people, of all the employees, especially if they are young. Because, you know, in this race for meeting deadlines, in trying to achieve as much as one can and to rise high rapidly to earn money, this is a work pressure. Uh, pressure at work and uh, is uh, become a real problem as far as our country is concerned. I think what our sources are also telling us is that Rahul Gandhi is expected to make this one of the planks of the Congress party, that there has to be changes in the labor laws, but the labor laws does keep in mind the concerns of the workers. He has been very critical of the fact that the government comes out with policies which is scant regard as far as India's large number of white and blue collar workers are concerned. And that was the entire purpose behind Rahul Gandhi's phone call and also the kind of assurance that he gave to the aged and the grieving parents of that young girl. Anna's dad and Anna's mother. Uh. Work atmosphere was a very toxic. Yes. So she, was, she was always saying, they had, this is very long working hours. Long, so anything, mm -hmm. how many hours you have to work, how you have to work on Saturday. They, they had to work continuously. Night, Saturday, Sunday. No restrictions. The children have to work like that. No? So mainly to young employees, the new ones. We had no time even for personal things. Even to... She, 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 she called me every day and night. She said, Amma, I can't sleep. I, I'm dead tired. I'm just I, I, going to sleep. Even when she comes back from home, she just left. She just drops on her. She's so exhausted, exhausted. Rahulji, what I have to say is, only in India children are subjected to such torture. If it's outside India, will they ask their employees to work like this? They say that we have received freedom in 1947. But our children are still working like slaves. Even now they are working like slaves. Children who study so hard to reach where they are. They put through so much slavery. Why? Why is it happening in our country like this? Why are our children made to suffer like this? How, how hard they work. How hard they work to reach where they are. 
Yes, they would do it. You know, we like to raise the problem in the parliament. That's, that's also be a request from you, Dabiji. And if there is any other entity Okay. Thank you.